Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your tarot reading for the month of July of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. My name is Eric. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So general reading, yeah, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Uh, this is general, but it's also a timeless reading. Even though this are, these are messages dated for the month of July of 2021, this could resonate for you at any time, regardless as to when you find it. If it resonates for you at that moment, then that's the message for you, yes? Uh, we could be talking to a cross watcher here, so keep that in mind. If the situation resonates more for you with the roles reversed, then take it that way, yes? Also, this is a general reading, general energy, so we're really talking about anything here. Love, family, relationships, like whatever needs to come up for you at this moment, yeah? Uh, I am available for private readings this month. If you are looking for that, uh, hit me up. The information is in the description box below. Of course, this is at a, on a limited quantity this month. Also, I highly recommend that you check me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. All the information for both of those topics can be found in the description box below. And as always, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Subscribe if you have not done so already. If you're new and you're considering subscribing, I just say go ahead and do it. It doesn't cost you anything. And you get first dibs on what is, you get notified first as to what is being posted here on the channel. Yeah? Also, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs and Venus signs if you're looking for love stuff. Okay, Pisces, interestingly enough, your energy is very similar to Aquarius's energy. So you might wanna watch uh, the Aquarius uh, reading, but in your terms of your pre-shuffle, um, it seems that you are very clear on what your intuition is telling you, which makes perfect sense. You are a Pisces. Pisces tend to be very psychic individuals, or at least psychically aware, psych psychically, uh, psychically in tune. Um, but this has to do with the past. I definitely feel like this could be a relationship for you, okay? At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Six of Cups. So this could either be a past relationship or just the history of a, of a relationship from the past up until now. Or this could just be a past circumstance, like memories about something that has happened in the past that you are getting very clear on now. But I do feel like the strongest thing for you, Pisces, is that this is a relationship, okay? And you're very, very clear, very in tune with and very connected with what your high, your, uh, your uh, intuition has to say about it. You have the high priestess with the queen of swords here. You also have the two of swords in denial. <laughs> the two of swords in reverse. I was going to say in denial, but the two of swords in reverse also with the four of wands in reverse. One of the first things that I heard, Pisces, when I saw that four of wands in reverse, especially with the two of swords in reverse, I heard this is not a happy home. You could also say this does not a happy home make. I feel like you've been in denial about this, Pisces, for some time. And your intuition is finally breaking through, saying to you, no, clearly that this is not the, the balanced, harmonious, or, or solid, reciprocal relationship or situation that you were thinking it was. Okay, which then influenced you to take a deep look in terms of what has gone on in the past or what this soulmate situation could be. Six of Cups could represent a soulmate situation um, or just how you feel about how you feel in terms of the memories that you have of this situation and getting very clear of that because underneath the Queen of Cups is the King of Swords. Okay. And now taking decisive action in terms of what your emotional reality is telling you. Underneath the King of Swords is the Emperor to the, her to the Hermit to the Six of Swords. All right, Pisces? So, like, you're finding out what this really means for you, what this fe really truly feels like for you. And you're gaining a sense of self-awareness through it. Or maybe it's your self-awareness that you, I feel like, recently may have come into the change the expansion in your self-awareness that is causing you to put some boundaries in place, say no, 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 no more, and move on from the situation. Sacrificing something about it, maybe the relationship or the situation altogether, but that's in service of being happier, uh, well-grounded, more stable. Whatever moving from rough waters to calmer waters would represent for you in terms of this situation. That's what the Six of Swords is saying, okay? Okay, Pisces, 
ultimately this is good though because i like the position that you're taking here all right and i'm definitely feeling your energies are very much wrapped up in the high priestess energy every time i'm looking at the high priestess i'm seeing or hearing or feeling pisces so this is representing you does uh the high priestess might represent pisces in the tarot but i don't remember quite frankly uh it doesn't even matter because that's not what's important here. What's what's important is that in this situation, the high priestess is you, Pisces. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if this is a cross watching situation, no, no, Pisces is the high priestess here. Six of Pentacles. All right. In terms of uh, whether something is reciprocal or not, allow your intuition to guide you there. I just feel like you're very strongly connected to your intuition. Um, you see the picture, bigger picture. You see higher aspects here. You are the high priestess in this situation, okay? Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. The high priestess is representing this intuitive energy because the high priestess is the most intuitive or psychic being in the whole deck. A close second to her would be the Queen of Cups who did show up in your pre-shuffle, all right? All right, Pisces. I'm going to go ahead and give this five shuffles, and then we will see what else we have for you in this reading for this month. Yeah? One. For my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July of 2021, this is two. This is three. This is four. Pisces, let's cut the deck here. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Pisces. We're starting you off with temperance. There's a need for balance here that I'm feeling for you, Pisces. Uh, I feel like you're getting to a place where your emotions are really getting strong and your emotions are pushing you in a certain direction. And they're really starting to, like... In some cases, maybe they're maybe starting to get the better of you, but that's maybe because you may have been denying this, the truth of this situation for so long. Or it could be that your awareness now is, <laughs> okay, your awareness of the situation may be making you a little emotionally volatile just because like the truth of the matter is coming through or the effects of this situation are really starting to hit you and you're like, what the actual fuck, okay? So there is a need for balance, all right? Uh, and patience, okay? Underneath temperance, you do have the Ace of Wands. Yep, yeah, okay, there you go. Underneath the Ace of Wands is the Knight of Swords. And then underneath the Knight of Swords, it is the Ace of Swords, all right? So this is exactly what I just said. You are coming to a state of awareness or you're coming to a state of balance or harmony or within yourself. And that balance and harmony is allowing you to see the truth of the situation, which is represented by the Ace of Swords. Look, and then underneath the Ace of Swords is the Queen of Cups. So you're, it's, it's your intuition that is providing you with this truth, this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding. And then that is directly influencing you to take some sort of action. And you're pretty fed up, Pisces. There's that aggressive energy. This is a shoot first, ask questions later energy. This is a very volatile energy. Energy, And that's why you're needing, you're really needing to work on finding a state of balance within your life, maybe or within yourself, maybe even a state of um, patience. Having a bit of patience here. I really feel like you're, you really, you really want to bring the hammer down on someone or just like really cut to the quick of the situation with the truth, with honesty, with moving forward with what the truth is leading you to want to move forward with because underneath the Queen of Cups is the Emperor. Okay, to the Five of Swords and then the Six of Wands, there's a level of victory that will come into your life by putting these boundaries in, in terms of what it is you're feeling, what it is your intuition is telling you, anything like that, okay? All right, Pisces, we're gonna get into the rest of this here. 
uh, first half and second half of your reading. The first half of your reading is going to talk about the past up until the current moment. Keep in mind, guys, that the current moment doesn't necessarily just have to be in July, okay? This could be at any moment. Whenever you find this reading and it's resonating for you, then that's this is the current moment that we're talking about. The second half of your reading is going to look at the current moment off into the future. Yes? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces, in the first half of your reading. The lovers. Choices. Union-based energies. Okay? Then that would be that would be representing the union of masculine and feminine within you. So on the feminine side, what are your emotions and your intuition telling you? On the masculine side, what do you do about that? You have to make a choice in terms of how you're going to, to handle this situation. And you have to make a choice. You need to be choosing what is actually ultimately going to be best for you in the long run. Okay, what serves your highest good? What serves your focus? What serves your purpose? Or what it is you understand for your purpose to be in your life at any given moment, right? I am feeling energies of the lovers representing a romantic situation for you, but I'm not getting anything further than that. So it just may be a choice of what to do. This might be a choice of partners, but also it might be a choice as in, in terms of what to do in a romantic relationship, which is exactly what we were talking about at the beginning, ever up until now, like the whole time, right? Okay. The lovers is coupled with the page of cups. You make this choice. You understand how to make this choice by understanding what you're feeling. A emotional awareness is key here, is what I just heard, Pisces. Now, Pisces, the, the lover, I'm sorry, the Page of Cups does represent you, in my opinion, as a reader. The Pages and the Knights represent uh, the mutable signs. Okay. So in many cases, Pisces, this is really literally just symbolizing you, Page of Cups, needing to make a decision for your highest good, the lovers. And I definitely feel like you've got some aggressive energy going on here with this Knight of Swords. Again, Knights and Pages represent the mutable signs for me, but this, this is the air sign. So this would be Gemini. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini, and then you also have the lovers here, which is Gemini energy. But I'm literally, I'm literally seeing this as you, Pisces. And this is you because I'm hearing emotional volatility. Because, not because of any fault of your own, but mainly just because this situation has pushed you to a point where now you're recognizing that you've been, that you're being taken advantage of or something like that or whatever. And it's, 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 the, this is like the dark side of Pisces, okay? Which, this may not show itself very often because Pisces is a very loving, emotional, emotionally caring type of individual, but Pisces can also be extremely destructive when you push them, when you anger them, when you really upset them. And it takes a, and I, I, like, I don't say this lightly, Pisces. It takes a lot to get you to the point where now you want to rip someone to shreds. Okay. So don't deny that in yourself, but also keep it in check. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces, in the first half of your reading is the Ace of Cups. You have three aces showing up here. The Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups now. An emotional offer. I feel like you made this emotional offer maybe in terms of reconciliation in the past. And this actually could be what's leading to your sense of emotional volatility now because you made an offer in the past that seems to be blowing up in your face at the moment. And yet it's not because whatever is happening here is for your highest good. And it could have worked out differently. Yeah, it definitely could have. Everybody has free will though. And I feel like your partner or the person that we're talking about here in relation to you did not take that opportunity to make it better. In fact, I'm hearing they just made it worse. And so now you're retracting this offer. And instead of giving it to them, you're giving it to yourself and doing what's right by you. The Ace of Cups is coupled with, yeah, look at that, the Four of Cups. You gave, you made this offer to them and they either didn't take it or they did take it, but chose to do something completely different, entirely different with it. 
Like often the Four of Cups represents a missed opportunity or a rejected opportunity. But what I'm getting in this situation for you, Pisces, in some cases, someone took this offer hearing exactly what it is you intended it for, but then had ulterior motives. So they were like, mm, okay, I'll take this offer, but I'm going to run and do something else with it. Sinister, I know. And that's got you twisted, boo. Ooh, rightfully so. This was not what you intended. But again, Pisces, everybody has free will. So like I said earlier, yeah, it could have worked out differently, but this person chose to do some, some like real, real, real nasty, real toxic, real stupid. Somebody took the love you offered them and poisoned it. Laced it. Roofied it. I don't know. God, I hope you didn't get roofied. Ooh. Anyway, your challenge here, Pisces, in the first half of your reading, is the Four of Wands. But the Four of Wands came out in your pre-shuffle reversed. And what I'm getting with the Four of Wands now is do not allow someone to try and convince you that this is a happy marriage, a happy home, a happy and solid foundation. No, it's not. See the truth behind the lies about this foundation or about what somebody wants to preserve of the, preserve of the situation now that they're faced with you walking away, you ending it completely. Four of Wands is coupled with, yes, exactly, the Three of Swords. This is not a happy home. I don't care what they're going to try and say and what they're going to try and do to convince you. This is not a happy home. This is not a stable and sturdy foundation. This is literally you laying on a bed of swords. Thinking or being deceived into thinking it's a lush, plucks, uh, plucks, plush, uh, 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 California King down mattress. Fuck that. It's not. It's literally a bed of swords. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Pisces, in the first half of your reading is, the, well, shit, the Queen of Wands. Good on you. Be sexy. Be confident. Be sure of yourself. Don't let nobody ma manipulate you anymore. You are allowed to be confident, okay? You are allowed to feel confident in yourself, especially if you decide that this relationship or this marriage, I don't know why I keep wanting to say that, but if you decide that this marriage or this commitment or this relationship is not right from you any, for you anymore and you want to move forward from it, you have every right. You have every right to feel confident in that. Don't let nobody manipulate you into thinking that you're a toxic person yourself just because you're confident in yourself and the decision that you're making for you. That's right there should be no enough of a sign as to what this person truly thinks of you or who you truly are to this person or this situation, okay? Queen of Wands is coupled with. I love it when my intuition is like so on point that I can say it before I get the final, the final cards. But the Queen of Wands is coupled with justice. You have every right to feel good in your alignment because it is that alignment that is bringing you greater justice. Yes? Yes. You know, excuse me, ironically enough, Pisces, it didn't start right, like it didn't start raining until just at the moment that I started doing your reading. Like once I started channeling your energies, the rain started to fall. I mean, it's not really like officially raining. It's still kind of like in the beginning stages where it spritz a little bit, spritz a little bit here and there. And then like an hour or so later, then we get that deluge. But, and I've kind of been seeing the, the clouds coming, but it wasn't until I started channeling your energy, Pisces, that the rain literally started to drop a little bit. I could hear it falling outside. I love that. All right. Let's get into the second half of your reading, yeah? So we're looking at the current energies off into the future. First set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. You have judgment. I want to say it's time to wake up, Pisces, but at this point, you have woken up. And you, you, it was apparent to me that you had woken up in the pre-shuffle. 
with that two of swords and four of wands in reverse. You are out of a sense of denial. So what this is mean, meaning for you in the current mo Oh no, I just lost power. Uh, hold on a second. I gotta, hold on. Let me open the door so there's more light. Okay. Sorry about that, Pisces. Uh, yeah, there's a storm coming, um, and I have no power right now. Uh, ooh, hold on. Okay, so anyway, so, um, I'm just going with the little bit of light that we have, but I'm in the middle of this reading. I don't want to, I don't want to, um, I don't want to scrap it and start over. So, <sighs> judgment. You were awake. You woke up already. So what judgment is representing for you now, Pisces, is now moving forward. Now take that action. Take action in terms of what it is you're realizing or what it is your intuition is telling you about this situation, okay? Judgment is coupled with the Eight of Swords. The action that you're being called to take right now, Pisces, is to break yourself out of this. Take the action steps that you know you need to take or that you're being guided to take to break you free from this situation, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces, in the second half of your reading, you have the Four of Swords. Okay. Yeah, keep it calm, cool, and collected. Just like I was saying when Temperance came out in your overall energy, you really need to... I'm sorry, I can hear the rain off in the distance. It's raining that hard that I can hear it off in the distance and it's not even hitting us yet. It's coming though. Anyway, you need to you need to do your best to keep your emotions in check because there is a level of emotional volatility. Here it comes. And here comes Orion. Hi, Orion. There is a level, hi, Orion, I know it's raining. There is a level of emotional vol volatility that is a factor here. And I'm not saying that because you're mentally ill or I'm trying to tell you you're mentally ill. I'm not trying to judge you about that. I'm just saying your emotions are so raw and are so strong that it can, it can lead to some pretty destructive things. So make sure that you keep yourself cool, keep yourself centered, keep yourself calm, okay? Yeah, here comes the rain, guys. Four of Swords is coupled with the Three of Pentacles. Keep your focus on what it is you need to do to build. What it, is, what it is you need to work on. Also, keep your focus on the self-mastery or the self-work that you've done over this process up until now. And I just heard to complete the process. So take into account everything that you've done to work on yourself up until now that has gotten you to the point where you can clearly see what's going on here, okay? And keep your focus there. And any sort of volatility, any sort of strong anger or strong emotions, instead of dir uh, directing that at someone else, Direct that towards what it is you're trying to build for the future or for your life right now, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading, Pisces, is the Nine of Wands, Perseverance. Yep, 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 Perseverance. Enough said there, really. Nine of Wands is coupled with the world. Yes, you need to just keep moving forward, Pisces, because this is, this is going to end. You've got to see this through. All right. This is like a last last ditch effort. There are just the last few things that you need to do here to get this situation to end for yourself. But it's going to happen. You have to persevere. All right. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Pisces, in the second half of your reading, you do have the two of swords again. I heard keep this denial to yourself which I guess is kind of translating into keep the sense of any sense of denial for yourself, which is weird. Two of swords is coupled with the, se ah, yes, good, the seven of cups. Okay, that make, that's exactly what I was thinking. Don't let the smoke and mirrors get to you. If you're gonna, if you're going to, I do, I do like to say this sometimes. Ooh, go on. This is a big storm, you guys. Holy shit, I gotta, we gotta, we gotta wrap it up here. Cause now it's getting really windy. Um, I say this sometimes, but if you're gonna be in denial of anything, be in denial of that which removes you from the truth or keeps you away from the truth or tries to deny the truth, okay? That's why I heard keep this denial to yourself. Use this to your advantage. Do not let anything sway you from the truth or what you know is right in this situation, okay? All right. Woo! All right, Pisces, shit's getting crazy here, okay. 
Closing Oracle guidance is coming from the Sacred Destiny. Yeah? All right, Pisces, I'm going to give this five shuffles for you. One. Good Lord. This is two. This is three. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Pisces for the month of July 2021. This is four. And this is five. All right, Pisces. See now, you know what's really interesting? Remember how I was talking about the emotional volatility? This storm that's rolling through right now. Just as I started doing your reading, this started, okay? So a storm is happening. And I would love it. It would be so crazy if the Healing Chaos card came out of this deck. But I do feel like there is there is an emotional storm brewing if it hasn't already hit. So just be aware, okay? All right, closing message for my Pisceans, please. Spirit, closing message for Pisces. There it is right there. No, it's not, it's not Healing Chaos. But it is action. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, action, Pisces. A shift is coming. The time is now. Don't hesitate. Face your fear. Do it anyway. When big change is on the horizon, it's time to take action. Of course, there are times to deliberate and carefully consider your next step, but not now. Now is the time to take immediate action. Look forward with a calm, steely gaze, and then, for, and then forge ahead with clarity, determination, power, and grace. Quicken your spirit by making decisions now. Even if you are not 100% certain on your decision, right now, it's better to make any choice than none at all. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Bye.